time. Stuart Shepard, this is Stoplight. There's a word on this bus stop bench that some people think you should not see. It could lead to trouble. It could cause unfortunate outcomes. Now, I'm going to show you the word, but first, you might want to make sure no children are watching, okay? You ready? Yep, 2,000 years later, Jesus of Nazareth is still shaking things up. What's the story? Well, Colorado Springs sells advertising space on these benches at bus stops. A local church paid the money and has run Jesus slogans for the past three years. As usual, we learned that one person sent a complaint to the city. The transit authority had someone call the church who told the pastor, essentially, you can still advertise. You could show the name of your church, for example, but you can't put Jesus on the bench. Now, and this is important, if the pastor had just said, okay, well, that would have been the end of Jesus on the benches. But thankfully, he did not. And after all this became public, the city walked it back a bit and says it will hold off on taking any action while its lawyers review its policy. Sitting here on the bench though, I got thinking, if Jesus was ultimately found to be too offensive to put on a city-owned bus stop bench, how long would you get to advertise your church that talks about Jesus? And then I thought about this. Our hope is in that name. We preach in that name. Our life is in that name. Our forgiveness is in that name. Our sins were washed away when we were calling on that name. In fact, and please don't let this get out, it turns out we're actually clothed with Christ. So that means I'm wearing the name like all the time. It says Jesus here. It says Jesus here. So some questions for the city attorneys who are reviewing the policy. As someone who's always wearing the name of Jesus, would I be allowed to sit on this bench? And if I get on your bus, are you going to make me sit in the back so that all the not Jesus people can have the best seats right up front? Because if you say there's no room for Jesus, you're also saying there's no room for us. <laughs>